in my last video i discussed regarding the introduction to internet of things now today in this video we will be seeing uh, what are the features of iot so there are many features but in today's video i'll be featuring only five basic or predominant features which are essential for iot so let's get started this is rajiraj and you are streaming on the steady beast so first of all to talk with we have the very first feature as the artificial intelligence that is the ai so ai is itself a different topic uh, to deal with uh, but when it comes to iot what makes it or what gives us intelligence is the artificial intelligence now uh, in iot we have physical devices we however make them uh, create virtual devices and incorporate some kind of intelligence so that these devices will act as smart it means uh, we can virtually create anything as smart and we can enhance any aspect of this intelligence that is data collection processing logging everything uh, we can incorporate into these devices which are not uh, naturally there but by creating virtual instances of those devices and by incorporating this uh, ai we can uh, create a well established network between these devices now a simple instance of this uh, that uh, we have a one refrigerator at our home and in this refrigerator uh, for example we have uh, different kinds of items like we have milk we have eggs we have veggies we have fruits we have meat and etc etc now uh, when for at a particular instance of a day uh, for example say the milk quantity is reduced and the owner of the house is uh, not aware that his uh, milk quantity is getting uh, replenished or it's getting depleted now what iot does is basically it has different sensors so uh, this sensors are linked to the smartphone of the owner and whenever uh, any alert is being sent it is being notified to the owner so that he or she will uh, get to know or he or she uh, gets notified that what item in his uh, refrigerator is getting depleted or it's being running out of stock so that's basic uh, example of artificial intelligence in uh, iot then we have connectivity now this creates a small network between its system devices this is simple uh, like the similar example we have uh, taught for artificial intelligence uh, in connectivity uh, we have similar example like we have the refrigerator we have one smartphone now uh, we have for example uh, we have mi remote mi uh, has a uh, feature of mi remote which has inbuilt infrared uh, sensor or in, uh, ir beam inside that so with the help of that beam what we can do is actually we can control n number of devices we can uh, control a uh, ac air conditioner we can control a projector we can control a microwave oven and many things so that's uh, what we call a collection of small small devices so that's where the connectivity plays into picture now we have n number of commodity hardware and commodity items in our home so all these we can club together and we can put in a centralized repository and can make it work in a, a well coordinated manner so that's where uh, we talk about the connectivity of iot devices is next we have the sensors so mainly the iot communicates with each other as well as uh, to its surroundings as well as to other devices by means of sensors so there are n number of different sensors so the sensors are a way by which we can instrument those mechanisms which transform iot into a standard passive network of devices into an active system which is capable of real world integration means we have all these protocols and layers laid out but these are always passive but whenever we uh, make our sensors play into picture all these uh, passive things come into an active mechanism and this can uh, act coordinately uh, to uh, proceed with certain activities and to carry out different tasks so uh, that's the play or the role play of sensors which act as a majority feature in iot next we have engagement that is the active engagement now since we have all these uh, things into picture we have artificial uh, intelligence and we have connectivity we have sensors into this iot introduces a new paradigm for the content product or service management so similarly uh, like i have told we have the refrigerator so inside the refrigerator you have the blue star ratings so this blue star ratings uh, will basically determine the amount of electricity consumption by our uh, particular refrigerator and each uh, day or each hour 
how much unit of current is being uh, generated or it's being consumed so that uh, amount or that estimation or that data you can send it to your uh, local electricity department or state department so that will effectively uh, gain a control like how much electricity consumption or uh, what is going wrong with your uh, electricity or the refrigerator or uh, what component it's being uh, failed or something like that so those whole uh, cluster helps and everything will come to know uh, in this active engagement next we have the small devices so uh, whenever we talk about iot we always uh, talk about the small small devices so iot exploits purpose built small devices to deliver its precision scalability and versatility so we uh, talk about small devices so uh, devices like remote we have we have a bio chips we have we have bio capsules so uh, two main examples of this are bio capsules and bio chips so bio capsules are a kind of uh, capsule uh, for example uh, which your doctor may give you while you have some fever or something cold so these are special type of bio capsules so this capsules we have uh, inbuilt chip inside that so whenever a human being uh digest or he intakes this uh, bio capsule inside him uh, the outer layer gets dissolved whereas the uh, chip part remains inside the body so uh, this chip uh, will stay long for a particular for example say 45 days or even for uh, 3 months or 2 months depending upon the configuration of that chip now uh, this chip will have entire information regarding that patient like what is his uh, red blood corpuscles count wbc count what is the sugar level what is his cholesterol level how much is the heart rate heart beat everything uh, so this can be monitored and this can be sent to the doctor so that he can prepare a uh, well report regarding the uh, patient so that is a bio capsule and next is the bio chip so bio chips are basically for example uh, you have a big cattle farm in new zealand or australia some somewhere like that you have a big cattle farm so there are n number of different cattle so uh, there is a bio chip so this bio chip you can uh, put inside the horn or on the body of this animals or the cattle and this will give you the entire information regarding that cattle like the milk breeding capacity or the milk bearing capacity and also the health regarding the uh, cattle and which disease it's being suffered and everything so it gives a complete information regarding the health of the uh, cattle as well as to any community if there is an epidemic in a particular city then it will also gives information regarding to that also so well to summarize all about the features we have the artificial intelligence we have connectivity we have sensors we have active engagement as well as small devices so hope you enjoyed this video if you found uh, you got educated by watching this video please give a thumbs up and if you still not subscribe to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video